Hello everyone! You don't usually get to see me um, on my YouTube videos so I thought I'd pop in for the introduction today. Uh, it's Sarah Brown from Felting with Nature. Today I'm going to be making the Hedgehog in a Hoop kit from the fabulous um, The Crafty Kit Company. Um, this is not a tutorial, uh, these aren't my instructions, they are from The Crafty Kit Company, but I'm just going to show you what's inside the kit um, and show you how I get on. Brilliant, hope you enjoy it. Happy felting everyone! So I purchased the Hedgehog in a Hoop um, 2D needle felting kit from the Crafty Kit Company. Uh, the instructions do not belong to me. However, I'm just going to show you what's inside the kit, um, what's involved with making it and show you how I get on. So this one is great. It says it's for beginners, easy peasy and age 10 plus, which is fabulous. Um, if you turn it over, you just get to see the contents of what's inside the kit. Um, and then you also get to see the finish size as well. So if I open it up for you, we'll start from the top and we'll see what we've got inside. So I can already see, oh, if I'm gentle with him, I've got um, a little foam block, which obviously you can felt on if you've got your own uh, mat. That's what I'm going to be using my own mat. Uh, but we've also got the um, hoop here. So we've got an embroidery hoop. Put that to one side. Oh, I'm messing it all up now. We've got a piece of chalk, which I think has fallen off the um, foam. So I assume that's to help us with any templates or anything later on. Oh, it's all got a bit stuck. There's a lot in here. Okay, we've also got a nice bit of the hedgehog fabric, the mohair fabric. A couple of needles here's your instructions so for your needle felting kit again hedgehog in a hoop everything you're going to need in there i won't show you what's in there um because they're not my instructions um, but that's what i'm going to be using to make um the kit today and um, we should also have some wool i hope oh yes here we go <laughs> here's the rest of the wool so all wrapped up inside um this piece of um wool felt i assume that's what we're felting onto and lots of lovely carded wools in there so it looks like it's going to be a super fun project so i'm going to do a bit of a time lapse of how i'm uh, getting on with this project so see you in a moment Right, so I'm just popping back in now. I've read the instructions. I know what I'm going to need. I've picked up my own 100% wall mat because I absolutely love working on that one. So I'm going to work on that instead of the foam. But obviously you've got the foam in the kit if you want to work from that. I've also picked up um, a single needle. Again, you've got needles in the kit. You don't need to worry about getting needles. And I've also got my multi-needle tool because it's my favourite. Okay, you don't need that. You will have your single needle tools in there. I've also picked up some glue. My favourite is um, Aileen's Tacky Glue. So I've gone with that one um, today. It suggests um, you could use any other um, type of glue. I've also picked up a, a permanent marker, a piece of paper. And the reason I've done that is because I didn't want to cut out the template um, that's given to us in the instructions. Instead, I'm going to trace it and I'm going to cut it out so I can keep the um, template nice for another time. And then I've got scissors as well because um, we're going to be cutting out the fabric um, and also the wool felt that's going to be going into the hoop. So that's what I've got for the project. So I'm going to start the project now. So I just wanted to check in and show you um, how far I've got. This is how far I've got so far. Um, so it um, suggests that you stick on um, the fabric with um, a PVA or a fabric glue. Like I said, I used my um, Aileen's Tacky Glue because I like that one. Um, and then it suggests um, you wait a little bit of time for it to stick on, obviously. Uh, if you prefer, it also says you could sew it on. Of course you could. Um, if you're that way inclined, you could sew it on or you could stick it on. Just wanted to give you a quick tip um, before I move on. When cutting out the hedgehog's body, just have a think about where you want those spikes um, to go. 
okay because obviously i wanted mine going back as if it was um, actually on the um, hedgehog's body now i thought about trying to get two i might still be able to get another slightly smaller one i thought about doing them this way so I could get two hedgehogs um, out of the pack. However, obviously then the um, spikes would be going in the wrong direction. So just think about that before you um, cut it out. I also just wanted to show you the amount of wool you get in this kit. Now, obviously it was all hidden when I showed you at the beginning, but look at this, so much wool. That's gonna um, last for, well, ages. You could make loads more um, of these hoops with these kits. I don't think I'll hardly use any of it at all. I mean, you can see I've hardly used any at the moment. So looking fabulous. Right, I shall carry on um, and let you know how I get on. So I've come to the end of the instructions and this is my little hedgehog. I'm quite pleased with him. You could now spend a little bit of time um, just doing any of the details that you want to go over. Anything you don't like the look of, you can um, add a tiny bit um, of wool on top and get him exactly how you want him. And then he has to go into the embroidery hoop. So I'm going to pop mine in um, the hoop and then I'll come back and I'll, I'll show you how I got on. And here he is, all finished, my hedgehog in a hoop. I'm really, really pleased with him. Um, he took about an hour and 15 minutes, so not very long at all. I think if you are um, a beginner needle felter and you'd like to try 2D, this is a brilliant kit for you. Um, great instructions, uh, lovely photos to follow along as well. And like I said, only took me about an hour and 15 minutes. And look how much wool we've got left in the kit, loads. And it's my favorite carded wool as well. So I can definitely be making some more um, hedgehogs in hoops. Brilliant. Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy felting.